And I am talking to Anaya with Anaya Music calling in all the way from Brazil. My gosh, Anaya, it's so good to talk to you. Yes, Cindy, how are you? You live in a sunny country, and I live in a sunny country, too. Well, you know, we're in Brazil. Brazil's so big. Where in Brazil are you? I am in Brasilia, the capital. Oh, in the capital. My gosh. Were you born there? No, no. I was born in Sao Paulo. Oh, in Sao Paulo. Oh, you were born in Sao Paulo. I've heard good things about Sao Paulo. I've heard very nice things about Sao Paulo. Yes, it's a huge city, and uh, Brazil is very huge, and I have been moving all around uh, Brazil and uh, in foreign countries 22 times. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Well, it's so funny because I've known you from your musical connection. Our musical connection is, on we're friends on Facebook, and I was I was watching you, and I love your your what you post all the time. And recently, you were in Europe, right? Where did you go in Europe? Yes, well, I went in, in uh, to Cannes, in France, to participate with Suzanne Doucet in the mid Music Festival. Oh. It's a whole meeting of the music industry all over the world. Wow. So it's a place where you can do business. How you can wonderful. Sign work, you can watch your copyrights streaming, and digital distribution. It's very, very good. And I have never gone before, and I'd heard about it a little bit, but I think it's wonderful that you both decided to take this wonderful trip. Before. I've been to Cannes twice, but, of course, you know, I have friends. You might know Rupam Sarma. He just was there for the film festival. Do you know Rupam Sarma? Well, I have heard, but I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, he just did a film called One Little Finger, and he was he had it shown at the Cannes Film Festival. And um, it's an amazing place and beautiful. And the funniest thing happened. You were walking down the street, and you ran into a dear friend of mine, who I don't get to see often because he lives in Switzerland, and he travels quite a bit. He's an opera singer, Gregor Pracht. Pracht. And you you happened to ask... Oh, Gregor! Gregor! Sorry, sorry, Gregor! Yes, 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 yes! And you have... I have been with him. It was so funny. And then you happened to ask him for directions, right? Yes, yes, that's right. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, my God. That is so Greg, funny. Oh, yes, I am in touch with him already. Oh, good, good, good. So you you went to anywhere else in Cannes, or did you travel around anywhere else in Europe besides Cannes? Well, I was in Cannes in all the south of France, and uh, because Suzanne, she had a car because her father used to live there. And so we have been up to Grasse, where they do all the perfumery from France. Oh. So this city smells perfume. It's wonderful. We have been all around this area. And uh, in near Oribo, Sussian, yeah. is where they, they had this film, Ecodigo, the Da Vinci Code, with the Rosetta Oh, church. that beautiful That's church. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. That- I, I, yes. it's it's amazing. It's a very mystical church. Yes. Yes, it is a mysterious place. Oh, is it? Oh my God! Yes, uh, it is. How it wonderful! Is. So, so beautiful. Well, so having beautiful. having a car in Europe makes all the difference in the world. I mean, just being but able you have to know yes. how to drive into yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, absolutely you do. <laughs> uh, Otherwise, you receive fine. <laughs> now, in, in Brasilia, uh, are you on the right side of the road or do you drive on the left side of the road? No, here is the same as in the States. Oh, it is? Like okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's good. But I'm li- I in England and I know I had to, to train a week to drive in the other. Oh, yeah. Oh, of the street. I, I did my PhD in England. It oh. looks so fun. Oh, I didn't know it's that. that so, uh, yes, well, I have a PhD and a first doctor. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I didn't know that in England. Where in England was that? I studied in Loughborough University of Technology. My gosh. And I... one, of, one of the girls that I met in the VIP club, and we're going to sign a contract, she is from Loughborough, and she has studied in Loughborough University. 
so business fun. <laughs> wow, how wonderful. My gosh, so you were in London and you got your PhD there in London, right? No, not London, in oh. Loughborough, in, in Midlands. Oh. The county is Leicestershire, Leicestershire, it's in the middle of England. Oh, okay, that's great. So did, did you actually get a car and drive that, drive around there? But they don't. you don't even need a car. Yes. Anymore. You yes, did? Yes, I, I had a uh, mini thousand. Oh, my mini gosh. Morris. Those are the cars to get there. That's a I, great car. I received, I received only one fine. That's <laughs> excellent. That's amazing. So, so th- <laughs> you were there for how long living in, in England? Well, four years. Wow. Wow. Quite a long time. That's and quite a long I time. The, when I did the postdoc, I did in Syracuse University, United States. But it's so cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so, so, so how many languages do you speak? Six. What? Six, six. languages? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, some, some, some very bad, like German. My German is awful. I'm very German. Oh, my gosh. So you can speak German. And um, in, in, in Brazil, yeah, you speak it's Portuguese, isn't it? It's Portuguese, but the accent is like a Brazilian accent, not Portuguese accent. Aha, uh-huh. aha, uh-huh. interesting. So, and then, very different. And do you, do you speak French? French, Spanish, Italian, and I learned wow. the Greek also. And oh Latin. my gosh, I am amazed. You have a gift. Now let's talk a little. No, bit. It, it, it's a it is a oh gift. My, it's a great gift. I have a uh, audio memory. I, everything I, I, I always remember by audio. Wow, so photographic memory. Yes, that's right, I have. Wow, isn't that a gift? That's fantastic. It is a gift. It is a gift, <laughs> my gosh. I, I thank you uh, every day, I thank you every day. <laughs> so tell me about your music. When did you get started in your music career? My music, I started playing with four years old because there are a lot of musicians in my family. But the only one who was a professional musician, he was a conductor. And then I start uh, the piano with nine years old, and then the guitar with uh, 12. Wow. But I always studied something else besides music. And I did ballet since four years old also. So my first lover was Chopin, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky. Mm. <laughs> wow. And Bartok also, Bartok. Uh-huh. And then, uh, about 15 years old, I finished conservatoire and things like that, 16, 17. And then I did uh, a lot of classes, a lot of lessons with guitar. Uh-huh. I had a lot of teachers, and then harmony, and then more theory. And then when I was about, about, 20, about 20 years old, I was uh, involved with the Brazilian musicians. And we were building Bossa Nova and things like that, just after Bossa Nova. And then our producer that I always thank you very much, he wants to make love to me to produce my CD. Uh-huh. So I, I, gave him the, I gave him the finger at the time. <laughs> but, but I thank him very much. Because at, <laughs> at that day, I decided to go to a field where there was no feelings. Uh-huh. So I went to computers. And then I had a very successful computer career. I have been CEO, president, director of a lot of enterprise. Never any man has had any sexual harassment with me. Uh-huh. So I do all my management stuff with uh, success. Wonderful. And uh, now I am another person. So I, I, I retook my career in ninety six. And then in 98, I had my first uh, New Age album. And then since then, I have been producing and creating. And now I, I am more successful because I have also support from Suzanne Doucet, that she's fantastic. She's my consultant. And also Beth from the big company. Oh, Beth and Ann. I love Beth Ann. Isn't she wonderful? Yes, well, she helped me a lot also. And I did a lot of... Uh, uh, courses about uh, digital marketing, how to do, how to be independent artist. Another guy that helped me very much, it was Derek Sievers. 
from the CD Babe when he owned CD Babe. Oh, yes, I, was, I know him. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And he used to write manuals for artists like me. So we became very good friends until now. Mm -hmm. And I followed his manual. Everything he did me to do, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it worked. So, and so I learned a lot. I well, learned good. a lot. Well, and, uh, there's, there's still such a need for people has, uh, to learn what you've learned. Even so much uh, help to me. Now I feel on my feet uh, instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many CDs now have, uh, you, have you done, Anua? Sorry? How many CDs have you done? Forty. What? Forty CDs. Forty CDs? I yes, had... but I, I only published it. In internet, I think is uh, thirty-two something like that. Wow, um, I I did not know and that many. Is because I do an album. We now I have changed, but I used to do an album with a musical theme, one hour. But of course, that's not very popular. So I started doing and uh, editing some pieces, some bits of the music, and uh -huh. do an album with different kinds of music. Uh -huh. But the new age came. In 1996, that's when New Age came to me because I had carpal syndrome. I couldn't play piano anymore and oh. I couldn't play guitar so much. Oh, my gosh. So I went, I went to a keyboard shop and I said, what is the softer keyboard here? And then they, they said, the Korg. So I bought a Korg and I started uh, creating music and since then. On their electric I, piano, on, yes, on cork. Yes, I love keyboards. Yeah. I am yeah. very familiar with keyboards. Uh huh. And is your carpal because tunnel is your carp carpal yes, tunnel well, better? Is it better on your hand uh, now? Yes, I don't have pain anymore. Oh, but good. I am very careful. Yeah. I have, I only stay one hour in computer, one hour in cell phone. Uh huh. I don't play every day. I relax. I do a lot of things in spas to relax my hands, wow. my arms, and I have help when I. Well, there are a lot of things that so, I, I do to take care of me, well, and I take care of very well. <laughs> you, that's really important to know. So what? where do people, what's the best site? Because you're a very, very smart woman, but where's the best site? Do you have one site to go to that people can find out what you've done and your, your amazing story? Well, uh, there is one article that they, in Wikipedia, there are some things. Yeah, but what's your uh, website? Is, uh, what's your best website? Ah, my website is uh, www.aneamusic.com. And let's spell that out for people. And, and it's A N A A Y A Music. A N A Y A Music.com. So you've had, right. you've had an amazing life so far. I mean, I you know, it's funny because on Facebook you get a little bit of an idea. But I had no idea your interesting background. You know, having lived like you did, what was your favorite place in Brazil? And, and people sometimes are a little nervous about Brazil. They hear about the awful crime in, in, in Rio and everything. What would you recommend for someone wanting to come down and visit Brazil? Well, visit with some Brazilian that nowhere is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not because good. Because all the... All those things is the media that uh, makes a lot of alarms and things like that. Yeah, it's not really like that. Oh, okay. But for instance, if I go, if I go, I was in Amsterdam, okay, in yeah. my travel. Then I asked, where are the safe places? Where are the places that I shouldn't go? Yeah. Then they told me, don't go near the station, the central station, because there are a lot of beggars and drug the people. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go there. Uh huh. That's good advice. You see? Just so find out. Wherever I go, yes, wherever I go, for instance, some years ago in New York, would you walk in Harlem? No. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. But now, during the day, you can walk there. Right. So you have to ask, for instance, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. downtown. When yeah. I arrive in Los Angeles, that I have parties in downtown, I ask the manager of the hotel, what are the places that are safe? And I have a driver that. Two, two, two meters high, <laughs> a big, big guy. Uh -huh. So he takes me by my arm to the door of the park, and he takes me back again. He picks <laughs> me up uh -huh. the same place. <laughs> so I don't give, I don't give chance for.
all those things to happen. Well, that's I smart. That's smart. And you travel a lot. Yes, yes. How often? What, what, is, what is the best thing in your life? It's your life. Yes. So take care. Absolutely smart. Absolutely. So do you travel a lot? Yes, I do. Yeah, it sounds but like if it. if I tell how I travel, people don't believe. I travel with private drivers that I always rent. I never go in public places. I don't go to crowds. I'm like Enya. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Really? Interesting. Yes. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. So so you, you really do trust. But, but you did go in when you went to Cannes in France. You, you were driving with Suzanne. You had your own car. You didn't have yes, a driver. Yeah, but it's different. Yeah. Yes. It's different because Suzanne is very spiritualized, though. Yes. Yeah. I agree. So it's completely different. I get well, very well with her. Yes, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So, so did you have you ever gone to? There's a lot of these award ceremonies now, and I mean, there's been different ones going on. Have you gone? Did you go to the Grammys ever? Did you? Are you been part of that? Or did yes, you? I have. I have been to a lot of those parts, but I stay only half an hour and I go away. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I I totally understand. I do get that. I'm the same way. I don't and like to be so, too long. I do all know. The, all those award, awards, I don't do for competition. Yes. I do for fun. Yeah. And to promote my music. Yes. That's the right way to do it. That is absolutely the right way to do it. Because, you know, it, it's interesting. You you just take the time to travel, though. So are you working in any other job? Or you, you, is your full-time job music? No. No, I used to work at the University of Brasilia. I worked many years for United States. You work for I the United Nations? Probably. I didn't know that. Yes. What did you do for the What did you do for the United Nations? Well, I am an information systems specialist. Really? Ooh. I and were you in computers? I'm, I am specialist in management, information systems management, and information systems how to automate information systems. Were you in New York for that when you were working with the United Nations? No, I I worked in Geneva, Switzerland. Oh, in Geneva! Wow, don't you yes. love don't you love Geneva? Yes. Well, in fact, I am mixed uh, Portuguese, Italian, Swiss. I didn't realize that. That's an interesting mix, right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is very. <laughs> I've I've only been to Geneva once, but my gosh, it's such a clean, beautiful city. But my gosh, all yes, the, all that beautiful. chocolate, I love Geneva. chocolate, 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 cheese, cheese, yes. cheese. Oh my gosh, it's fattening. But you you can walk around that beautiful lake. It's got that gorgeous lake, and it's so lovely. It's it's a wonderful Lac Le Mans, Lac Le Mans. <laughs> yes, very nice. So you were there. Why would you leave a job like that? Did you you stayed for a long time? But how long did you stay? Four years? Because, uh, no, because they they at the time they had a capping budget, and they oh. offered me a job in Vienna or or in Paris, and I wanted to come back to Brazil. Oh wow! Well, so I kept doing I kept doing consultancy work for them and for all the international organizations too. But then I was at the University of Brasilia, and because I, I have a lot of languages, they used to send me to all projects, all, all things that they had uh, in foreign countries. And uh, when we teach here in Brazil, we had not anymore a kind of um, early retirement. Really? But that is over. Yes, that is over now. Oh. So I had the chance to have that. Mm-hmm. So I had a very early retirement because I had an, enough working, you see. So you got an early retirement from the United Nations? No, from the University of Brasilia. Oh, from the University of Brazil. Wow, you've had an, yes. am, you've had an amazing background. I mean, really, you've had... Yes, I have a lot of background. <laughs> and, you know, besides that, I studied also the university, uh, Holistic University. And I specialize in Chinese medicine, but I don't act as a doctor. <laughs> so do you do acupuncture? <laughs> do you do acupuncture or pressure points? No, too? no, no. It's it's mainly Reiki that I do. Oh, I do that Reiki too. Yeah. And because this uh, newest, exactly a lot of the tea, is in honor of my grandmother that was a healer. She oh, was how wonderful. Money. 
Wow, that's and great. And I, I inherited her gift. Oh, my. So I heal myself all the time. I well, good for you. I do, too. I'm a Reiki master, and I, I believe in that, and I, I've been doing that most of my life, actually, yeah. But, you know, as so, you know, you so. know, you know music. <laughs> music is healing, too. And they've proven yes. this. They have proven that music. That's what, uh, that's what I do. I put in my music the healing gifts that I have. So yes. when people listen, they receive that. Yeah. No, it, it, it's absolutely true. I do believe that. They found out that the energy and the vibrations of music is very, very healing. And it's interesting. They're finding out more and more that even it works helping people with autism, children with autism and other things. Yes. Can, yes, very yes. helpful. And uh, according, depending how you tune your instrument, you can also change DNA, a lot of things. Like Peter Cater, for instance, he has done this waterfall uh-huh. with uh, 432 hertz per second. So I do also this, this uh, frequency vibration. How wonderful. You know what? It's so funny because, you know, we just get a snapshot, a picture, a small picture of people on Facebook and online, and you've got this amazing background. I really did not know what an amazing life you've had between working at the United Nations in Geneva, living and traveling all through Brazil, doing your work with healing, doing your work there with There is Chinese. more, see. <laughs> there is more than that. Because, you know, I have been married to a doctor. He was a psychiatric doctor uh-huh. and a psychotherapist, and he was blind. Wow. So I lived with him 27 years. My gosh. And um, to live with a blind person, Yes. It's quite an experience. Oh, yeah. Very, very deep. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, you know what? I so am, I'll, I'm so glad we, yes. got, we got a chance to connect. You know, you probably have never been to Maui, so when, in all your travels, you ought to come to Maui sometime. Yes, I have been to Maui. Oh, you have? I have been to Kauai. I have been to Honolulu. You travel a lot. Well, some years ago, <laughs> uh, when I received my certificate in Reiki, I want to go to Hawaii to get in touch with the Kauna. Yes, the Huna. So I got in touch. Uh, yes, I got in touch with them, and then I came back to Brazil. How marvelous! Well, Anua uh, and 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 am I pronouncing your name wrong? Anaya, Anaya. Yes, An- Anaya. Anaya, Anaya, Anaya Music dot com, Anaya Music dot com. Um, you've had an amazing life, and it just. I don't know. I'm just so glad that we landed up talking and I found out more about you and, and Brazil and your travels and what you do. You've had a fantastic life. So, um, you know, and I've never been to Brazil. I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I have never been to Brazil. It's one of the places I have not traveled to, so I'm going to have to get down there. And I'm going to have to come visit sometime. Yes, we have beautiful beaches and uh, here the food is fantastic. Mm-hmm. You, we have uh, 365 days of the sun, mm-hmm. but in the south of uh, Brazil, it's very cold. Yes. Very, very yes. cold. Yes. But from uh, southeast to north is more hot, and uh, northeast is very, very hot. <laughs> wow. Well, it's been a treat talking to you. It's been amazing talking to you, and it's so nice discovering um, you know, a little bit about your life, which it sounds like you're going to have to do a biography or an autobiography about your life here. Oh, uh, who can write? Tell me. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> it sounds like it. It sounds fantastic. Well, what a treat. Thank you for taking the time to call in and talk to me today. Look, Cindy, you know you live in my heart. You oh, thank you. Yes. But uh, we connect instantly yes. on Facebook. And, uh, uh, well, it's like that. We have friends online, but the vibration keeps uh, us uh, well together. Absolutely. And, and people can find you on Facebook. You always post beautiful things. And people can find out yes. about your works there as well. Well, I, I, I have a lot of faith in Facebook, so people can contact us through the community page that is... Uh, Anea Music, because my personal page, only my friends. Uh-huh. Anea Music. Well, thank you, Anea, and a big aloha. Aloha to you, too, and I'm going to send the email with some uh, some other information Great. that you need for something, okay? All right. Thanks it so was, much. It was lovely to talk to you, and aloha. Aloha.